For homework 3.1, ideally, you want to be able to freeze the top row. Tap on row 1, tap uh, again on the 1 itself, go to the three dots and freeze it. Now I'm going to tap out of that row. I'm going to tap on B, the head, the letter B, tap on the B again at the top, and now I'll tell it to sort C to A. And it will correctly sort it and keep things together. But suppose that didn't work for you to get that Pareto chart. By the way, the Pareto chart now is in a simple select plus chart. There's your Pareto chart. It's in order. But suppose that didn't work. Suppose that failed. Well, then get resourceful. Let's go backward all the way to the beginning. I can always get resourceful. If need be, I can simply take uh, this tap, select, tap again. Cut that out, that can go down uh, Pareto. Truke's going to have to be first, Jap's going to be farther down. So I'll just start tapping these in. Paste. Uh, so Truke is the one I want on top of this. Tap, cut, happy to go right here. Tap, tap, paste. Pump, paste, drag, select, tap, cut, tap, 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 paste. Go try, drag, select. Tap, cut, tap, tap, paste. State, tap, 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 cut, uh, tap, tap, paste. <laughs> now I can make my Pareto chart, all without doing any sorting. Sure, it's a little extra work, but it gets me to the same answer. It gets me to a Pareto chart. So that's all there is to it. If you can't do it one way, find another way. That's the key to this century. Find a new, find another way. There's always more than one way to tackle a problem and solve it. So sort it if you can. That's faster. But if you have to do it manually, you run it manually. You do whatever you need to to make it work.